Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A new video in week 26, guys. Uh, first of all, hi, how are you? I hope that you're fine. Um, now let's revise what we have, what we had yesterday or in the last video. I guess that we studied some of the vocabulary words needed for the story. Do you remember any word, guys? Just tell me one word. Festival, yes, festival. Uh, what else? Uh, let's say... Um, Cotton, yes, which is a plant, white plant. We have also some words like, um, just remember, I forgot, help me. Yes, 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 yes. We studied the word festival, cotton. Uh, I really can't remember. Okay, so let's go to our new lesson and get ready. Today we are gonna have two, um, a new lesson, which is, let me show my screen to tell you what is it. This one. So here, we're studying some comprehension skills, some tips to help you understand and uh, manage your comprehension well. Today, we're going to know what's the difference between compare and contrast. When you compare and contrast things, then you're telling me what is similar, what is different between these two options or these two things. If you would like to know what, how things are similar, you look for words the same, like, as, as well, uh, both. So these are the words that indicate that two things or more are similar. But if you're going to talk about things which are different, you will say, but, while the other one is um, differently, you say, however, uh, yet, instead, the word instead. So these show the connection between things. Guys. So if you have a passage like this or a story like this, and you would like to just differentiate between two things and show how they are similar, show the, how they are different, which is compare and contrast, then after reading the story, you have to just fill it the Venn diagram. You have to fill it in. So we have, in the story, we have two families, Fong's family and Singhalese family, a family from Senegal. So we would like you to show how they are different. And of course, you know where to write this. It's here, yes, in the both part here. This is where they are connected here. This one, this part. But here, this is only for the Singhalese family. The Fong family doesn't do so. And here, this is for the Fong family. The Singhalese family don't do so. So at the end of the day, when you read the story and you comprehend it, you understand and you think and you answer the Venn diagram, you're going to find out that both families accept each other, though they are different in some parts. And this is our message to you guys. Uh, so do not oppose, do not fight, do not get angry because some people are different because Allah created us so. So uh, I enjoyed the story so much. And though the two families were just, uh, they, there was the, there is a big difference between the, the, the way they live their lives or the way they have their food. Uh, however, they enjoyed they enjoyed being together and enjoyed the food. So thank you so much. I guess that uh, Mahmoud will like this lesson so much. Okay, Mahmoud? Assalamu alaikum.